Our next athlete is Katie Tuck. <laughs> Catherine and I have had the honor and privilege to have her as part of our program for her gymnastics career as a club athlete. You know, every accomplished programmer, every accomplished coach has that special athlete that comes along and basically verifies that everything they're doing might be going in the right direction. And basically, Katie was that athlete for our program. We had dabbled in the elite program for some time before her, but with limited success. And to have her come along, this, this ball of fire, energetic, bounce off the wall, energizer bunny type kid at nine years old, we knew we had something special. Um, some called her energetic when she would bounce off walls. Some called her hyper, maybe a little bit. I called her annoying. Um, but it wasn't long before we basically discovered that um, it wasn't so much that she was hyper or distracted. It was the fact that she would get her requirements done in half the time that any, any other athlete would. So we'd be standing there halfway through the rotation with nothing to do. Of course she's going to get in trouble. She would just she would just fly through things. She picked up things so fast. Um, she was a, you know she had a round off layout layout series, a very difficult series. You now we'd have 10, 12. She'd be done in three minutes, on two minutes, boom. She wouldn't she wouldn't do a series and walk down to the end of the beam and rub her hands and rub her butt and blah blah blah. She would do a series, turn around and go back the other way, the same way. Now it's just back and forth. I'm done. No, you're not. You can't be done. I'm done. Um, just an amazing athlete. You know, her compulsory career kind of mirrored what Jordan's was. Not a, not, a, not a great compulsory athlete, not one that you would go, whoop, there she is, Next, she's going to make an Olympic team someday, or maybe a Pan Am team, she's going to be an elite athlete. But, um, you know, I, we surmised after a little bit in the compulsories that she was just bored with the repetition. Compulsory bored the snot out of her. I don't want to point me, no, I want to do another cast, another body wave, I don't want to do that. She wanted to flip, she wanted to twist, she wanted to do the big stuff. And few kids have ever had the combination that I've ever, I've ever dealt with of incredible balance and spatial awareness. She was basically a cat. No matter how difficult the skill, you throw her in the air, she's going to land on her feet. And, it, and once she got to the optional levels, she just flew. She just flew. Um, you know, she, not only, you know, like all accomplished athletes. You can have that ability, but that willingness to use it on a daily basis. basis. That blue collar work ethic. Okay, I got talent, yeah, but the willingness to use it on a daily basis, obviously that's what separates the best from the best. Um, and she was one of those kids. Um, this, is, this is just a story of one of my favorite things with her, because she picked everything up in one try. You just do that, okay, do that, okay, twist and flip, yep, she did it. We're working a double leg full out, okay? And I'm giving her double leg, nice double leg. Okay, I want you to pull your hands in and look over your shoulder. She does, pulls her shoulder, looks, looks towards her shoulder, looks towards her shoulder. You know, like two or day, three days later, I'm going, you know, look over your shoulder, look over your shoulder. She goes, I'm looking over my shoulder. She goes, God, can you, can you just twist? She goes, you want me to twist? I thought you said look over my shoulder. She goes up and goes, the way full up. Wait, you didn't tell me to twist. She said look over my shoulder. That's the kind of athlete she was. Um, her hot full, hot full gainer, probably, I hope, I hope Jason has it on video, textbook. Hop full, hop full, ginger. We're doing progression, progression, progression. She finally just goes, can I just hop all the way around? Like, yeah, do that. <laughs> so those talented kids make you look good, you know. Um, as a 10-year-old, she qualified Eastern Nationals. As an 11-year-old, she was the JO National Champion. Um, that was a lead in Baltimore. Yeah. yeah. JO National Champion. She jumped right from the JO level right to the elite ranks. Basically, okay, we got to go to the elite right now. Um, and uh, I remember Steve Nuno the first time he saw her because she's an unknown JO kid. He goes, "Got her. That kid's got it." And Steve Nuno, uh, Shannon Miller's coach, you know, I'm going wrong. What, what does she got? What is she? I hope I don't get it. Anyway. 
1994, the next year, she won both the American Classic and the U.S. Classic, set the world on fire as a junior, destined to really do well at championships, and then she got this case of severe Seavers, and you know we basically hobbled through championships, still made national team. She's all disappointed. Me, I'm happy I have another, I have a national team member again. I'm just ecstatic. Um, but I know that that meat left a bad taste in her mouth, and it lit a fire, because she was gonna jump to the uh, senior level the next year at 95. Jumping in the senior level meant competing against Amanda Borden, J.C. Phelps, uh, Shannon Miller, Christy Powell, um, Strug, and I mean, those are some pretty, pretty big guns for the little guys who go up and pack it. And so that summer was incredible. And we went to our first senior level meet, I remember out in California, and it's Pan American Game Trials. And here's this new little junior that just comes in and just is rock solid. She ended up making the Pan American team, which ended up winning gold down in Mar del Plata, Argentina. Katie qualified for being finals at Pan American Games and missed the all around by .025. Ended up, she actually was fourth, but they only picked that, you know, that three per country. Why do I always get that? <laughs> Two per country rule, three per country rule. I get that one. Um, phenomenal performance there. She just rocked it as the youngest competitor on that team. She's represented the United States, or represented the United States well in very, a lot of international competitions. The 1993 Catania Cup, her very first, and that's on, somebody just posted that Florentine on, uh, online recently. And she has this card in the Florentine that she's rehearsing during training, and it's like a, it's like a bumblebee sound, and, and she's got this card, she does this, to the bumblebee music. She's a little cute kid, but in, in Italy, that oh. means basically <laughs> <laughs> so, so the coaches are like, what the? You can't do that in competition. Um, so wait, can you, if you don't have that part right there, you can, you're not going to do that part. <laughs> um, Barcelona, Spain, uh, she, she medaled in the all around there in the uh, Jacqueline Bloom Invitational. Uh, she was part of the gold medal teams in the, a couple of the Visa and Hilton challenges, and those were big when we were taking on the Chinese and the Russian. And Hilton and Visa were uh, big sponsors, and we do these uh, kind of quad meet situations. She was um, obviously a member of that Pan American team in '95. Um, she was a member of the gold medal winning Pac Rim team in '96 in Malaysia. So this girl's got to see the world. Um, and obviously, '96 Olympic uh, test event. And then the 96 Olympic trials, where she was the youngest competitor on the floor. I believe Mosiano was younger than her, but she wasn't on the floor. Um, Katie was the youngest competitor competing at the 96 Olympic trials. She posted the fifth highest optional all-around score in that meet. Too bad we had compulsories at that time. Um, you know, in today's thing, she would have been she would have been in the hunt for making that Olympic team. Obviously, that Olympic team was. Tough to beat though. Gold, first gold medal for USA, 1996. Great, great squad. But you know she was hanging with the best in the world um, as a 14-year-old. So our sights were set on 2000, um, and those kind of got shut a little bit short with a pretty significant back injury, compression fracture, impingement, degeneration. You name it, it was it, it was a problem. So her elite career kind of took a, took, a, took a trip south. And that didn't stop her from doing a pretty good collegiate career. She did remarkable in, uh, in college on a couple of events, setting MAC, in, uh, you know, MAC, MAC records and Central Michigan records at the time, a couple 10 O's on bars. Um, she competed for UMass and Central. Um, and now she continues to get back to that sport that's kind of etched in her, in her being as the assistant coach of the Iowa State University. So we're kind of, kind of proud of that. Send your kids to Iowa State. <laughs> Katie comes also from pretty good stock. Mom and dad are sitting right there. Some of my best memories in gymnastics have to do with traveling with this family. Um, whether it was Tom watching me break golf clubs, <laughs> Or, um, 
or Joyce giggling in the bathroom after she had one too many Italian wines. Um, it's fun. We were traveling with Donnie Thompson at the time, and Donnie Thompson asked Katie, why is your mom giggling in the bathroom? She said, one too many of me. Anyway. Italian wines might be a little stronger than the U.S. ones. Anyway, some very, very fun times. And, um, you know, they taught her well, mom and dad. You know, they taught her about setting goals and the perseverance thing and the fighting and the battling back, the sportsmanship. And one of the very best traits that I think they instilled on her is the trait of appreciation. And I hope all the athletes down here are, are, are paying attention. The trait of appreciation. Appreciating what others put into you, the equation that contributes to your successes. Whether it be your parents, whether it be their, your siblings, or it be your teammates and friends, whether it be your coaches. Katie was one of those kids that was always appreciative of everybody. And um, to signify that, she made sure I knew that I wasn't the only one going to introduce her the, second, the other half of our coaching duel um, played a major role in her development. She wanted Catherine to be included in this. So um, I'm going to bring Catherine up now. But before I do, I want Katie, Katie to know how much I've always appreciated your loyalty and your love. And it's been 20 years, but it's still, it's still pretty strong. So thank you.